For years now, printing from a laptop or desktop computer has been pretty simple. All you have to do is plug it in via USB to the device or connect to the same Wi-Fi network and then hit the print button, all without needing to install any drivers to get the hardware to work together. For this video though, we're gonna be partnering with Mopria Alliance to show you just how easy it is to get your files or photos printed directly from your smartphone, just as you can from a laptop or desktop. Now, printing from a smartphone hasn't always been easy. Up until Google released DPS, or what's more commonly known as the default print service for Android, allowing app developers to integrate printers that are on the same Wi-Fi network so that you can get your PDFs, Word documents, and even your images printed directly from your smartphone, just like this one, just like magic. Without going too far into the details though, Android's default print service is powered by Mopria. While you may have never heard that name before, the Mopri Alliance was founded in 2013 by Canon, HP, Samsung, and Xerox, and today it has over 21 member companies with over 120 million Mopria certified printers all around the globe. So what does that mean? Well, if you have an Android power smartphone like this, printing is just as easy as it would be from your laptop or desktop computer. If you've never printed something from your smartphone before, you'll see just how easy it can be. In order to do this though, you will need a Mopria Alliance certified printer, but with more than 120 million devices that are already out there, there's a good chance that you already own one. For this test, I'm gonna be using the Epson EcoTake 4800. You'll also need to make sure that the printer is set up on your Wi-Fi network, and you will need an Android smartphone or tablet that's connected to that same network. From your Android device, the best place to get started is opening up the files or what's also called the file manager app. Here, you'll be able to find all of the documents or PDFs that you've saved to your smartphone or tablet and also view all of your photos as well that you've taken with the device. Now, if you have been following me on Instagram, you know that I've been training for a half marathon that's taking place in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna print out the race course map that I downloaded just a couple days ago. Looking at a PDF of a map on your phone it can work in a pinch, but like many of you, I still prefer to have a hard copy document for something like this. So from within the file manager app, once I tap on the PDF file to view it, I can then tap the three dots in the top right hand corner, and then I can select print. From there, the print window opens up, and if I tap the top section where it says save to PDF, I can then select the printer that I want to use for this print job. The printer here at my desk is the Epson ET4800, so I'll select that. Now, in the same way that you have print options on your computer, Android's print service, which is powered by the Mopria technology, gives you a handful of different print options as well to choose from. You can select how many copies of the document that you want printed, the paper size, the orientation of the print, printing in color or black and white, and if the document is more than one page, you can choose to print double-sided or even select the exact page that you want printed. I'm gonna change the orientation to landscape since that's the original orientation of this PDF for this map, but once you've made your selections for your specific print job, tap the print icon and then tap OK. And just like magic, your Wi-Fi connected printer will start printing your document straight from your smartphone. I'm sure a lot of you are pretty excited to learn that you no longer have to email a file to yourself from your smartphone to your laptop or desktop computer, open it up, and then hit the print button from there in order to get a physical copy of that document. But what if you wanna print something other than a PDF or a photo from your saved photos? Unfortunately, there are limitations around what kind of content can be printed using the default print service. If you're using something like Google Photos, you can always print your photos directly from there, just as we showed in those previous steps. But if the option isn't available in the app that you're looking for, you can always install the Mopria print service app directly from the Google Play Store. Just search for Mopria on the Google Play Store and then install the Mopria print service. Once the installation is complete, you'll be able to print your photos and a whole lot more. Now, if you don't see the regular print option as we showed you earlier in this video with the Mopria print services, now you can just hit the share option, which is pretty much available in any Android application. And then you'll see the Mopria print service option there, which will give you all the printing options that we showed earlier as well. Armed with both the default print services and the Mopria print services, now you'll be able to print all of your photos, your documents, PDFs, tweets from Twitter, your boarding pass, and anything else that you can think of from your Android device. 
And we do have one final tip for you. If you simply can't find any printing options whatsoever in the application that you're using, just capture a screenshot and then print that instead. And that's gonna do it. Let me know what you think of Android's default print services powered by Mopria technology and what you plan on using it for when you print something for the very first time from your Android device. I'd like to thank Mopria for sponsoring this video and you guys for watching it as well. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.